this is a quick video to share with my friends. A lot of us are having to switch our face-to-face -face classes to online format and in, in a real hurry because of the COVID-19 virus. So first off, there are a lot of tutorials on how to do this on YouTube, um, probably better ones, but I just wanted to make my own real quick just to share my how I put lectures together and put them on Zoom and then transfer them to YouTube and that type of thing. So what I'll do here is just kind of show you um, what I'm starting with is I usually have a, um, for a topic, let's say for soils, I usually have a, a full PowerPoint presentation that I go through in my face-to-face -face class. And for the online one, I'm gonna use the soils lecture as an example. What I do first is try to really clean it up, um, tighten it up. Um, I usually have a lot of extra figures and I, rather than have this figure on a separate slide, I'll try to put it together with some text, just tighten it up a little bit so that the, the flow is a little easier. Um, what I, usually they just kind of run on and on, but what I do is I put um, breaks, just a blank slide, just so that I can break it up into about less than five to 10 minute segments. So you don't want to have, you know, hours long lecture online. It's very unwieldy. So what I tend to do is break it up into little chunks. So in this example, I'm just introducing soil and talking about pedology, soil formation factors. And I'll go through that and then I'll stop and I'll, you know, then I'll start a new recording where I talk about soil texture and soil horizons, right? And then I'll have another break, okay? Then I'll talk about a different topic like soil and water capacity on the break and then um, talk about soil classification and so on. So you're, you're taking your long lecture and breaking it into smaller chunks that are more easy to work with and then you can post them separately by topic. One advantage to this too is if you mess one up, you don't have to redo the whole thing. You can just take out the one piece, re-record and replace it. Okay, the, um, for so uh, the first thing is to prepare your lecture, have it ready, and, and break it up into small pieces. Now I'm gonna go through the procedure for Zoom, but it's kind of meta because I can't actually do it while I'm recording in Zoom. So I'm actually gonna just show you on some slides. Get down to where I need to be. Okay. Me. Okay. Sorry about that. First of all, um, I use two monitors. It's not a requirement, but it's just helpful for me. I have the right slide where I have my um, the PowerPoint is running, and then I use the left side, left monitor, to actually do the PowerPoint. I actually have a webcam placed about right there, just above this, so that I'm not kind of out looking to the sides all the time. All right, and there I have a Zoom already installed and set up, so that's one thing you probably want to do is install the Zoom software, get your account, It'll give you a closer view of that. So you, uh, I have a button here, I start the Zoom program, or you could search for it and start from, from the menu, whatever works for you. Uh, you'll have a menu and what you'll want to do is say new meeting and that will um, get you into a screen like this where you'll turn your webcam on again my webcam is just kind of uh, uh, an external one that's above one of the monitors you want to kind of make sure you get that placed where where it works for you and there's an option i just i don't know what the difference is i always just click join computer with join with computer audio you, it'd probably be a good idea to also test your speakers and microphone. That's a when you click on that, it'll give you a little test to show you if you're getting a good um, the speakers and the microphone are working correctly. So that's always a good idea to do first. So next, uh, in the you, you'll see yourself in the webcam there. Underneath that, there's an option to share. Uh, um, dialogue pops up and it'll label your screens. The screen, I'm, my work screen is number one, my, my display screen is number two. So I'm gonna share screen two. 
you can actually share individual applications as well. But I like to do the full screen because sometimes I might want to pop out of PowerPoint and then do use some other uh, web page or something that's underneath there. So if you prep it right, you can kind of have your PowerPoint and other stuff ready to go on your separate screen. Or you can just do it on one screen if you need to. Okay. Now, once you share it, it'll be kind of it'll be kind of highlighted. Uh, if you want to include yourself, like I am now with my head here, then it will be it'll be kind of there in the corner. Let me kind of drag myself. So right now I wouldn't be on the screen, and then I kind of just drag, like I'm doing with the arrow here, just drag yourself into the corner. You can resize yourself, you can make yourself smaller or larger, or what have you. Uh, you'll need to be mindful if you do do this though you you need to be a little mindful of that in your powerpoint presentation that you don't have important information where you want to put your head in the presentation so i try to leave the top right area um, clear so that i can put myself in that little corner there okay once you're ready to go um, have some water something handy you know be hydrated be ready to go you can choose record to the cloud now you can also record to your computer. I prefer recording to the cloud and the one main reason is because it will actually create captions for you when you record it to the cloud. You can download those captions and you can use those later when you bring your stuff into YouTube. You don't have to bring stuff to YouTube, but I like to do YouTube because it's very easy to embed right into the Canvas page. We use Canvas Clovis Community College. All right, so now just do your presentation, blah, 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 you know, and so on. And, and when you're ready to finish, you, on my second screen over here, I'm kind of looking at it now, you might notice if you see the videos, I'm always looking off to the right when I stop the video. Um, you go uh, more, and then you do end meeting from your little Zoom menu, and then you click on end meeting for all. And that's it and you'll get an i at least the way i have it set up i get an email later from zoom saying hey your your stuff is ready and then from that point you can you can share a link to that video from zoom or you can download it and bring it into youtube so i'll make us uh, when it's this video is done i'll later make a video showing how i get it from zoom how i name the file and how i bring it into youtube and that sort of procedure so um, if it, I hope this helps. If it, if, if not, sorry. <laughs> okay. Good. Stay safe out there. In meeting. See, I'm looking over there at my in meeting for all.